Hey, what's up, guys? This is Pete from ForYourVitaHype.com. Um, continuing my series of PSP games on the Vita because uh, most of the time they get a pretty decent upgrade. Um, this game is actually one of the few times that it doesn't. Uh, and actually, there, there seems to be a trend there. Anything that is sort of heavily um, sort of polygon polygonal 3d world um which obviously a basketball court isn't quite a world but you know what i mean um because of just having lower polygonal um counts in the players and whatnot like the game just it looks old it looks like a ps2 game the colors of the vita screen help a ton. I mean, if you were to put this right next to, like, a PSP Go, obviously the colors and the courts and the uniforms and all that stuff look a lot sharper, but the actual players, the animations and stuff, too. I mean, if you're if you're looking to get a basketball game and you want to play, basically, a handheld version of the PS3 version, you are not going to get it with this game. Um, but that said, it's not all bad news. It It is... Um, it is fun. It's not. It's not an amazing basketball sim. It actually kind of reminds me of playing like PS2 era, you know, games where they're a little arcadey um, and whatnot. But if you're just looking to play a little bit of basketball on the go, um, it's pretty good. And it has all of the modes as well. That I'm, or it doesn't have all the online modes, but it has a lot of the. Uh, I think that guy just bricked his own layup. Um, has a lot of the offline modes. Like, I'm doing the Jordan Challenge right now. It has all of the Jordan Challenge stuff. It has all the My Player stuff, which I show a little bit later. It has full season. Um, has has all of that stuff. So it, there's, there's plenty to do. Um, it's just a matter of whether you can deal with the fact that the game plays a, a bit more simple than the typical... Um, you know this gen console i mean i mean it kind of plays like a basketball game from four or five years ago uh not so much like the version that's out now uh one of the reasons why i bought this was because there has been no mention at all of 2k13 coming out on the vita which is really disappointing because uh, 2k sports really did a great job of supporting the psp but they do not seem to give a crap about the vita thus far um, and if indeed it doesn't come out on the Vita, um, our only choice for basketball is going to be the PSP game. So I figured I'd get this one cheaper to, to get an idea on whether that one will be worth it on day one at the price. I, you know, probably will, will be 30 or $40. Um, and the answer to that is no, definitely not. <laughs> um, it's fun and it scratches the basketball itch. But it is not, uh, it's not something you're going to want to spend that much money on. It, it's, if this game, I mean, right now, all of, all of the 2K games, this, you know, 2K12, 11, 10, I think those are the three that are on the store. All of them are 19.99 right now, which is, even still, is a little bit too much. Um, if this game ends up going on sale during the summer or whatever, and you like basketball, I recommend getting it. Uh, or if you're just cr crazy about basketball and, and you, you're looking at this now and you're going, you know, that looks kind of fun. It reminds me of games from the past. Um, so here I am creating Mitt Romney for my, my player and I'm about to do some drills. Um, so, you know, it, it it's successful for scratching the itch, it's not successful as being, like, a full-fledged sports game. I mean, especially when you put it up next to, like, MLB The Show, like the Vita version, or Virtua Tennis 4, or anything like that, and then you go to this, obviously, there's a huge drop in quality. Um, but if you absolutely love basketball, it's worth it. And if the game's cheap, it's worth it. As it stands right now, at twenty dollars and not really when the next version comes out unless reviews say it has a huge upgrade it definitely won't be worth it at 30 but i don't know there you go have a good one